these two were a real struggle to get out. Basically, I couldn't pull the, the coil off, so I put everything back together and warmed up the engine, and that let the, the rubber loosen up a bit. I did have to move one item, this guy here. So all you do to remove it is you swing it this way to the right, and you pull up and push it, push it back on to secure it later. This guy was a lot of trouble because his harness is in the way. I don't want to blow out these Christmas trees because I don't think I have any floating around. So I got this trim tool and just pull the harness up a little bit. And that's enough for you to pull the coil back and rotate it. So what I'm going to do is pull out these two plugs and replace them. I already put this one back in. It was at 15 newton meters for the spark plug. And then this bolt here I put at 10 newton meters. I couldn't find an actual spec for that. So I just kind of went off the the diameter and what I felt was right. All right, so here are the three plugs from the front. They all pretty much look the same. I have to pull out my smallest torque wrench actually to get all the way down to, to 15 newton meters. So I've got my extensions here. Drop this in real slow. And what I can find in this 15 newton meter isn't much more than a hand tight. one here's the next one dielectric grease on the end here. I'm just going to do this one for the video. Just drop it straight down. Get that bolt started. Again, it's a pretty long bolt. I, again, I don't know the torque spec. I have this at 10 newton meters. push it on you'll hear it click and then push the red tab in all the way so I'll put this middle one on and then we'll assemble the rest so these two are back in torqued dielectric grease harnesses are on what I'm gonna do is remove that guy and this is just what it looked like I use this I don't know 80 degree bend to pry it up a little bit. I'm gonna swing this back and just push it down. Secures. You can see the little clip here is back to the, the leftmost position. And then reconnect the high pressure fuel pump. And 
now we'll take a look at the back side. Looking at the back here, there's one right here. This harness is in the way a little bit. I'm gonna try to do it without removing this harness though. Here's the middle one. Should just come straight out. Definitely room. It's just a little awkward to be sitting on the engine probably. And then the one closest to the driver's side has this in the way, which I'm gonna disconnect. It's just squeezing the back here and pull. And I'm actually gonna try to do it without removing this charger or cooler pipe here because I think there's enough clearance to pull it up a little bit and then angle it based on how I was able to get this guy out. So we will see. If not, this pipe is secured here, here. I have to disconnect this and, and this harness as well, and maybe swing it all to one side. I don't see too well how to remove it back there. So let me give this a try. The three clips were released. I had to use this six or seven inch uh, screwdriver to get some leverage and approach the vehicle from, from the front. I got the three bolts out holding the uh, coil on plug units in place. I use this style socket and no extension. It was pretty easy. So it is possible to get the three of them out without removing anything. Basically what I had to do to pull this first one out on the driver's side was just manipulate this hose a little bit to the side. And then this one, I had to just pull it, I think a little bit towards me or down and, and towards me to get it up and out of the way. So now I'll just remove the spark plugs like we did up front here and replace them. All right, these three plugs were the, the rear of the motor. They all look pretty much the same. White on the top, carbon on the ring. So none of these were any exceptional challenge to, to get out. So I'll put the three new ones in now. I had to use this combination to uh, get the rear driver's side most plug in place. Plugs are in, dielectric grease is on these guys. I actually use this Primatex one. I just get the big tub, keep it for a few years. There's a part number. So the back is all back together here. This guy was pretty busy and all these uh, connectors are on with the red clips facing forward. Uh, this one actually either from the factory or from some warranty repair, which I don't recall anything being back there, um, was not fully secured. So that was kind of interesting. So now that I got all the plugs in, this guy in again facing up I take this cap off my engine cover back on it's got these two pegs here holding it in place on, grab my tools, and then I'll uh, start the car here.